Hi folks, welcome back. This is your week four NFL picks uh, for 2023, the 2023 season. Last week we went 10 and six, so uh, very impressed with that. Well, uh, uh, that was straight up, not against the spread. Um, we don't do against the spread because this is all for uh, entertainment purposes only. No gambling involved whatsoever. So let's get straight into it. Week four tonight. In a few hours, the Detroit Kittens will face off against the GB Packers. The Packers are two-point underdogs in this one at home. I do like the Packers at home, though. They, they showed some great resilience last week in their comeback against New Orleans, and uh, I, I, I see an upset here. Uh, definitely see Green Bay uh, prevailing tonight. And then you've got Sunday, uh, a 6.30 a.m. Pacific start kickoff in uh, Wembley Stadium there in London. The Jacksonville Jaguars, they might as well just call them the London Jaguars at this point. I think this is their 10th game in Wembley or something like something to that effect uh, against the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons are three-point underdogs, and I'm, I'm going to take Jacksonville here. Atlanta's not a good road team to begin with, and uh, Jacksonville's kind of like a home away for, I'm sorry, London's kind of a home away for home for Jacksonville, so I'm definitely going to take Jacksonville there. Uh, the points there, did favor, Jacksonville can be favored by three. I would, I would say that Jacksonville should cover that one, but again, just for entertainment purposes only. And then Sunday's regular uh, games at 1 p.m. Eastern bring us the game of the week, I think, in uh, terms of just the, the, the magnitude. Uh, it's a divisional game, and it is Miami at Buffalo. Now, me being a Miami fan, I'm a little bit partial. They, they scored 70 points last week, but against the lowly Broncos. Uh, the Bills have only allowed two touchdowns this year so far, so this is going to be an interesting matchup. Bills are favored by two and a half. Um, I'm going to go out on a ledge here, and I'm going to say Miami. Miami is just running on all cylinders. Unless something happens with Tua during the game um, or some other uh, unforeseen injury, I like Miami's chances in, uh, in you know, balmy uh, uh, Buffalo there in um, early October now. It'll be October 1st, of course. So uh, I think Miami will uh, upset the Bills there in Buffalo. And then you've got the Denver Broncos, the aforementioned Denver Broncos, facing off against the uh, Chicago grown-up Cubs. The Bears are uh, three and a half point underdogs, which is really, it, it's kind of um, surprising being at home there at Soldier Field, but they're just not that good. Um, Justin Fields, that experiment, like I've said before, I think is just a complete failure. Uh, he thinks that he's being a robot out there on the field. Uh, Denver, you know, both of these teams, this is kind of the sadness bowl to be wrong, to be honest, the depression bowl. You've got two 0-3 teams facing off here. Um, Denver, I think, is probably not going to be able to prevail on the, uh, in this one. Um, I, I, I like Chicago at home. I think the Chicago will definitely be able to pull this one out at home, so I'll take Chicago. Another huge divisional matchup about Baltimore at Cleveland there on uh, Sunday morning, or actually Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m., uh, Cleveland is favored by three at home, and I like Cleveland at home, definitely, in this matchup. Uh, Lamar Jackson, goodness knows if he's going to end up throwing the ball and to, 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 to which side he'll end up throwing the ball to. Uh, I see points being very scarce in this one as well, so I, I like the, uh, the Cleveland team at home here in that uh, situation. But I could also see a two-point victory for Cleveland, so the line, it's, it's kind of iffy at three, so... Uh, just um, hedge your bets if you are betting, but I'm not, and this is not for gambling at all. Uh, Cincinnati at Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee, you know, Ryan Tannehill is just not looking like he used to, and the and the whole uh, work, uh, experiment here with uh, Derrick Henry and D Hop just doesn't seem to be working out very well. They're one and two, and um, I, I just don't like their chances. Cincy looked pretty good there on. Uh, uh, Monday night against the Rams. I'm, I'm going to go with Cincy here. I think Joe Burrow is going to start putting it together now. They were 0-2 last year. Oh, they were 0-2 again this year. I think they're going to start putting it together. I'm going to go with Cincy on the road in Tennessee. I think at the Rams at the Colts, this one is a pick -em game. And again, in a pick -em game, pick -em game, I was always taught to go with the home team. So I'm going to go with the Colts here. Uh, I, I, I do think that the uh, the blue crowd there, the Colt blue cloud, blue, Colt blue crowd will uh, definitely help the uh, the home team prevail over against the visiting Rams who are on a two-game uh, uh, road trip here so far to the uh, Eastern time zone. And then you've got Tampa Bay at uh, New Orleans in another uh, divisional game tilt. Uh, I like uh, New Orleans at home. They're favored by three. Definitely like New Orleans at home. The other question mark is uh, Derek Carr. He's uh, not, probably not going to play. 
So Jameis Winston looking like he's going to end up stepping in against his former team, the uh, Buccaneers there. So um, I, I still like New Orleans' chances. but uh, And Alvin Kamara is returning as well. So that's going to be big for New Orleans. I like New Orleans at home. I've got Washington at uh, Philadelphia. Washington at Philadelphia, <laughs> the point spread is nine. I think that that's probably too small. It's probably going to be a much uh, wider blowout than that. Washington's just not that good. They just got throttled at home by Buffalo. But, uh, Philly should have this in a cakewalk. Uh, Carolina is uh, home to the visiting Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota is actually favored by four in another sadness bowl. Uh, these both teams are both 0 and 3. I like the I like the Vikings. Um, I, I Carolina just is not. They're just not as strong as they may have seemed to be in the preseason, at least, um, or, or prescribed to be in the uh, preseason. And I, I know Minnesota's got to try and, and pull this thing out. And, and they're, they're, they're too good to be 0-4 at this point. And you got Pittsburgh and Houston. Definitely got to take Pittsburgh. No question whatsoever. Uh, the line is 3. It's probably a very good bet if you're into that. Well, I'm not gambling, but uh, uh, the line seems a little small for what uh, what will probably happen there in, uh, in Houston. Pittsburgh's got a great defense, and they're just going to smother Houston, in my humble opinion. And the late game, late game there on Sunday. You've got uh, Las Vegas visiting the LA Clippers. I'm sorry, the LA Chargers <laughs> in LA. The line is five. The Chargers are favored by five over the Raiders. Um, and Garoppolo's status is unknown, uncertain. They're saying that it's probably going to be uh, one of the backups, uh, Hoyer or um, uh, O'Connell, I think is the, his name is. The, uh, he played in the preseason for them as well. Um, I'm going to take the Chargers at home. They're favored by five. I'm seeing this kind of a low-scoring game. Um, Austin Eckler is questionable as well, so um, I do like uh, the Chargers at home, especially in the situation against the Raiders. And you got New England at Dallas, where you have E.E. E. going up against his former team, former long-time team, Ezekiel Elliott, uh, facing off against the Dallas Cowboys in Dallas. Dallas is favored by six and a half. I think that they will prevail in this one. Um, Bill Belichick is going to end up falling to one and three, and he's going to keep having to chase that elusive uh, uh, 347 mark to uh, get up to the win total that he needs to in order to tie Don Shula for that uh, coaching record. Win, in wins, that is. And you have Arizona at San Fran. Forget it. Arizona might as well not even show up. If San Fran's favored by 14, that's a fat spread in the NFL. It's uh, almost up near college College football spreads. Um, 14 is a lot, but I, I, I actually think that San Fran will prevail. Um, I think they'll cover uh, the spread as well. They're just a very strong team this year. And then again, you got uh, New York facing um, two consecutive nights of home games with the Jets of New England. I'm sorry, the Jets of New York facing off against the Chiefs from Kansas City. This one, the uh, Chiefs are favored by eight and a half. The fast airplanes are um, one and two coming into this. I think the Chiefs will definitely win. It's just a matter of how much. Uh, I don't. I, I actually think they'll probably cover as well. This line came down a little bit too. It was up around ten when it first opened up earlier this week. So I think they'll definitely prevail, and I do believe they will cover. And then Monday night, the uh, closer for Week Four, you have Seattle at the Giants. This one's this one's kind of interesting. I, I like Seattle on the road here. They're favored by one in this one, and I, I like Seattle's chances on the road in New York. Uh, Saquon Barkley, I think, is still questionable. So uh, New York Giants are just not what. Um, that not worthy of the prime time uh, stage, in my humble opinion. So, uh, just again, for entertainment purposes only, uh, we'll see if uh, see how we turn out on the other side of uh, week four. Have a great weekend, everyone. Enjoy watching.